So happy days. How are we all doing? Let me know in your comments. Let me know how you've started to get on yesterday. Is everyone ready? Morning, Mark. Are we ready for the new year? Have we kind of got rid of the past is what I think I want people to to start to focus on now. OK, so we're going to drop. Um, so we're going to talk about. Um, how to shift your mindset, okay, and how you either, either you become a victim or you you learn to shift your mindset and change your beliefs and um, change your values and change your work ethic, okay, morning Stephen, morning Andrea, then we're also going to discuss why the obstacle is the way, um, how you can start to focus on what you can do rather than getting lost in what you can't, um, and then I'm going to discuss macronutrient amounts, as well okay so um a quick thing before we start as well if anyone is interested just let me know just comment this is not for current clients by the way you get this for free um i've created a new mindset warrior program which is um 30 daily videos one every day for 30 days to get your mindset on track and then morning lisa morning andrea and then there's a weekly live coaching every single week so you get one hour's coaching every week and i just want to test it out to start with so this isn't anything to do with the normal plan you don't get any training you don't get any nutrition it's just for people that want help with their mindset and mental health and I'm going to do the initial sign up to the group at £29 for lifetime access just to see how it goes. So that means you'll get your first 30 videos. So it's less than a quid a video. It's an absolute no brainer. You get PDFs and homework with them as well. And um, you will then get another video every single week added indefinitely till the end of time, okay, or until I decide to stop doing it, which will most likely be never because the biggest buzz that I get out of my coaching without a, without a shadow of a doubt is mindset coaching people and having an effect on them. So if you are watching this on playback or you're watching it now and you're not a current client and you're interested in just the mindset coaching, just comment mindset in the comments and I will send you the link over to that. It's uh, it's crazy, like I said, it's that. Um, there's nothing even set up for it yet. It's not even on sale and that's why we're just doing it as a trial. So it's that one payment of 29 quid access to that membership site and all of that forever till the end of time, okay? So, victim mentality, okay? So I'm gonna use lockdown to describe this because I don't want anyone else to, to face this this year and I want this to be the moment where you guys understand what a victim mentality is, understand that it's okay to admit that you've been playing the victim for years, remember I did for like 20 years of my life, bullshit excuses about my history and that being the reason why I couldn't achieve things um, and how you can learn to shift your mindset okay, um, so I haven't told her I was going to do this because um, I only thought about it, morning Robert, on my live this morning, uh, on my walk this morning, as you guys know, every single day, okay, I did 9,000 steps this morning, uh, 90 minutes walk with the boy Frankie, I love being out with him, he's the dog but he's the son to me, and I do my personal development at the same time, okay, then I get back and I hydrate and I stretch before this live, it sets me up for an epic day, every single day of the year okay and that's why I never change it but whilst I was listening to one of Paul's podcasts and um, he was talking about how um, people played the victim mentality some people played the victim mentality when we went into lockdown the first time and some people it was like an epiphany and they just found the way to change okay and one of those people was actually my sister-in-law Katie Wilkinson now, Katie's got a sandwich shop, some of you will know her, in Snapton, called Snapton in Baton, that obviously closed when it went into, when we went into lockdown, okay? Now, this is the point when, again, many personal trainers couldn't personal train. So many people couldn't do their jobs, especially self-employed people, and they were lost, okay? completely lost, didn't take any action, went straight into the, the Kubler-Ross cycle of grief. So they went through the denial, then they went through the anger, then they went through the bargaining, the sugar, shoulda, coulda, woulda phase, and then they went through the depression phase, and then they eventually found meaning. Well, for some people, finding the meaning was a long way down the line. We're talking three, four, five months. So, you know. 
Sorry, I just lost my slides. Um, so it, it was far too long and it was really impossible for them to come back to it. Now, what Katie did was completely admirable. So she started um, an online business that she could run from home and literally from day one into lockdown, straight into this online business that she's continued to run. By the way, there are thousands of online businesses that every single person watching this can do with zero investment working from home. All you need to be willing to do is the work, okay? And that's what she's done. She's been willing to do the work. She didn't roll over and go, oh, my shop's shut. I'm gonna sit around drinking wine all day and cry about how bad lockdown is, okay? She went straight into something else. And again, this was what, not bigging ourselves up, but this is what we did as trainers, okay? We didn't moan about not being able to go to the gym. We didn't moan about not being able to coach as PTs. We went straight into taking the business online and increased income by 59% in 2021 during two lockdowns, okay? Um, I know Kate has massively increased her income and I know thousands of people who have. I know people who have not now gone back to their jobs because they created side hustles that have now become their main hustles that they can run from home, meaning they have more freedom, more time with their kids, more money, more impact, okay? Anybody, any of you can do anything you want and if you're saying you can't, that is the biggest bullshit and the biggest lie that you have been telling yourself, biggest story, biggest excuse, biggest justification. If any of you are sitting there and your head's going, yeah, but it's different for me, Lee. It's not, okay? Katie didn't have a single penny to put into that business. I don't know exactly how much it's making her now, but I think it's well over four figures per month as a side hustle, okay? Just graft. Look for the opportunities, okay? Stop playing the victim. You can either continue to focus on what you can't do. I can't go to the gym for the next four weeks. In fact, I had some really friggin' annoying news yesterday, okay? So some of you won't know, but I play rugby for Sheffield and we should have had a training session today that I was involved in to learn the new the new laws um, because there's a few tweaks to the game um, with coronavirus and I should have been in the starting 15 to play next Saturday on the 9th. However, yesterday I was advised that because of my postcode, I'm in tier four, not tier three. So I can't play rugby. I can't go back. All my mates are there today um, training. Lads, hope you have a great session and they will all be playing next Saturday, apart from two of us, me and Tom, who also happens to be the captain, okay? So I could have thrown my toys out of the pram last night, couldn't I? I could have had a drink. I could have blamed Boris. I could have crywanked all over my Facebook about it. I didn't, because it's just one of those things, okay? I'm in tier four, tough shit, get on with it, okay? Lee, you focus on what you can do or you focus on what you can't do. You still can't play rugby because you live in tier four, okay? What can I do? Well, I'm gonna smash a badass CrossFit session with Nat today. Um, she's gonna absolutely rinse my little white ass into the middle of next week. I have no doubt and she will kill me. Um, I can do more coaching today, I can sign up more clients, I have more time, I have more time with Logan, okay? And rugby will come back. And at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is also, I'm also still carrying a couple of slight injuries, which it should give me four to five more weeks, more physio and more rehab, so that when I do step back on the pitch, I, I, I'm ready to go, okay? But you have to learn to shift your mindset from I can't, to I can, because you can even create two lists, okay? You can create a list of things you can't do and a list of things you can do. The can't do's, just forget them because there's no point focusing on them. There's no point me moaning about not being able to play rugby, is there? Because I can't play rugby. My focus today will be on what I can do, which is smash a training session, do loads of client work. I've got a couple of really exciting meetings with guys who are working on some funnels for me. Uh, I'm gonna plan loads of affiliate stuff for the clients that are online, because they're starting to make loads of money now as well, which is great. Uh, so we're helping them do that. 
and delivering this live. Uh, I'm doing another live later and I've got lots to excite, be excited about, lot, lots to do. Um, and it's opened up more time to do other things, okay? More time to spend time with Logan. Now that's, that's what's called a mindset shift, okay? That's what's called not playing the victim. The old Lee would have just cried about not being able to play rugby, blamed everyone, got angry, probably got pissed and got a bag in last night and blamed the whole world for everything that was going on, okay? That victim mentality, it's got to go, okay? It's not going to get you anywhere ever. If you can't work, what can you do, okay? You know, this is, where, again, what some people didn't realise. You know, almost for some people, lockdown should have been a, been a blessing in disguise because you couldn't go to the pub, but you could get outside and train. You couldn't go to work, which meant you got to stay at home and spend more time with the kids, being a better parent, better partner, more time to work on your relationships, time to do the stuff that you never got to do in your house and even businesses, people that all of a sudden couldn't do the outside bit of the businesses. You know, I know there's no one been, trust me, there's no one, there is nobody been hurt more than club and bar owners in this situation. It's the only industry that's been forgotten about, okay? And DJs, um, no help, no support, no nothing. But again, I know club owners who have just literally done six months worth of work on their clubs that they never ever would have done whilst the club was open because it wasn't possible. So again, they flipped the perception, they flipped the mindset, they stopped playing the victim and rather than focusing on what they can do, can't do, they're focusing on what they can do. So that's all I want you to learn to focus on in in 2020, okay? Let, drop me a comment if this makes sense. Drop me a comment if you're ready to start just changing your language and focusing on what can I do rather than what can't I do? Because focusing on anything that you can't do is just 100% wasted energy that you could be spending on other action towards your dreams, okay? Other areas of your life you could be focusing on. Is this making sense? Is it good? Enjoying it so far. Again, if anyone does want the mindset videos, thanks, Michelle. Seen yours. Um, just drop me a comment in. Like I say, this is probably a course that's going to be in the region of um, £99, I would imagine, for probably 90 days. I would guess that's what the course is going to be on sale of. So at the moment, that one off one off fee, 29 quid, lifetime access access to it forever, okay? Private mindset coaching video seminars every single week, plus the 30 videos you already get. So I hope that's helped, okay? And every, I'm gonna do one early today as well, but I'm also going to do this every, every week, okay? Um, so I'm gonna recommend one book that's changed my life. Now, the book that I want to recommend today is called The Obstacle Is The Way, and it's by Ryan Halliday, okay? Absolutely game changer, okay? As I said, Audible is what I use. I don't read books. I have got quite a few books there, because some of them, look at all Logan's pictures as well that he's doing at the moment. Wee! Pepper the Pig, next to Space Ibiza. <laughs> uh, who'd have ever thought you'd see that in my studio? So, the the his book the obstacle is the way is how everyone can find can find inspiration and use the obstacles to their strength okay and again that's just exactly you know covid has become a positive for katie because she's learned a new skill she's learned changed her mindset she started doing personal development she's had more time with her kids and everything has become positive but you just have to be open to that mindset shift that allows you to move forward in face of obstacles okay rather than just going oh this has happened poor old me poor old me poor me another uh, you know exactly what i used to do so yeah i hope that helps now we are going to discuss macronutrients because i want these to be about food and nutrition as well um, on that tube of course you don't get any food or nutrition it is just mindset okay so yesterday we uh, not yesterday friday Saturday, Thursday, we discussed calculating a calorie starting point and how to do it, didn't we? All these videos are saved. So if you do want to go back and learn how to calculate a calorie starting point, go back to Thursday's video on this page and it will tell you exactly how to do it. You do not need to pay a coach, nutritionist, PT to tell you how to calculate a calorie starting point, okay? There's a fucking calculator online that does it. Now, 
Once you've worked that out, we then need to figure out how to, all these videos are saved, okay? You can go back. You then need to figure out how to, within reason, work out your macronutrient amount. So what are our macro macronutrients, okay? So there's actually four. There's protein, carbs, fats, and alcohol. Alcohol is never, ever mentioned, and not many people know that it's a macronutrient. And the reason why is because you cannot metabolize it for energy under any circumstances. So uh, I laughed, Simon Baddock, if you watch him when you put this up the other day, Simon posted a picture of the old Rattler, which he was having on New Year's Eve and saying that he was going to burn it off tomorrow. Contrary to popular belief, guys, you cannot do that. You cannot burn alcohol off. That is why it can be so detrimental to... Um, to your goals, drinking alcohol can, that and the fact that you're constantly hung over and you've got no energy levels and you're ratty and you waste loads of time and it's a waste of money and you make bad decisions when, you, when you're when you drinking as well. So um, you also can't burn it off, you just have to wait for your liver and your kidneys to break it down and get rid of it. Now, within macronutrient accounts, so Laura, what makes you decide how much of a calorie deficit to create once you've worked out your BMR? Okay, that's absolutely crazy because that's like the first thing of my slide that's actually like I, I prepped you as a client to ask that question which I didn't okay so calorie deficit equals lose body fat calorie surplus equals gain muscle can we do both at the same same time yeah technically in certain circumstances but that's a lot more difficult for me to go into okay so first of all food makes up our energy intake from those three main sources, okay? So we've got protein, which is essential. Listen up, many people don't know this. Fats that are essential. Carbohydrates that are non-essential, okay? Now, that's not to say they don't have a whole host of super, very important processes within the body. They do, but they are not essential. So if anyone is struggling to eat, I would always recommend making your diet up of protein and fats first, and then we make the balance up in carbs, okay? Once we've decided whether we're in a calorie deficit to lose fat or a calorie surplus to gain muscle. In regards to your question, Laura, if I was looking to gain muscle, I would probably start in a calorie surplus of three to 500 calories per day. If I was looking to lose body fat, I would do the same the other way. So I'd be in a calorie deficit of three to 500 calories per day with all other things taken into account like your um, your TEED and your, your BMR and your daily activity levels. So protein, what is it? So protein is long chains of amino acids. The body breaks them down into shorter chain amino acids called peptides. Oh, my slides have gone haywire, bear with me. Okay, and finally, they're then broken down into individual amino acids that are absorbed into the bloodstream and carried around the body to support muscle tissue and cell. This is why protein is so often talked about in terms of muscle gain, okay? But I'm also come on to, gonna come on to why you don't need a fucking protein shake straight after you train, okay? Um, they are in short, essential for life to exist, okay? They are the, oh, I've just keep losing my slides here, sorry guys. Um, they are the, the building blocks of muscle and they also maintain all other muscle tissue in the body. And um, the enzymes are present in every cell of the body. And bet nobody probably knew this. They are responsible for regulating our metabolism and also the breakdown of body fat. Ooh. All of a sudden, that high protein diet is looking a lot more appealing, isn't it? And getting your protein levels up and having less carbohydrate is feeling a lot more appealing, isn't it? This is why we get protein and fats boxed up first. And I'm going to come on to those two points, okay? So fats, what are they? So again, contrary to popular belief, um, adipose tissue on your body, jolly jolly, body fat, is not the same as fatty acids in the body, okay? Fatty acids make up the, the fat 
the fat content of foods that we eat, um, omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9, okay? They manufacture hormones such as estrogen and testosterone and cortisol. They are specialist cellular signalers that maintain structure and function of cells, and they have key roles in components of the body's immune system. So again, we can see why they are important, okay? So grab a pen, write that down so you remember it. Carbohydrates are a non-essential macronutrient. Fats and proteins are essential for a various a very important reason, and I should always make my diet out of protein and fats first where possible. There should always also be at least 100 grams of carbs, okay, for energy level, which I'll come on to that. So, our beautiful carbohydrates, okay? So almost everyone, two, two things happen when, when all my clients receive their diets, okay? That's a nice one, it just scratch your ass on a lively. We're all friends here, aren't we? It's my live, I can scratch my ass if I want. Um, they are, carbs are misunderstood and demonized, okay? I'll pop a, a magazine article I wrote in here afterwards called the the unnecessary but understandable fear of carbs okay so um carbs won't make you fat fats won't make you fat proteins won't make you fat okay eating too many fucking calories and not being in a calorie deficit and doing enough movement is what will make you fat okay there really is no difference between low carb high fat versus high carb and low fat okay Base it on what foods that you like to eat. Now, so before I come on to working out your macronutrient amounts, I just want to pull that point up, what I said about protein, okay? If you are a guy or a girl or a significant other looking to build muscle and burn body fat, okay? For optimum muscle, muscle protein synthesis or MPS, which is the, the process by which muscle rebuilds and grows, the optimal timing for muscle protein synthesis is every four hours, okay? Getting it from food is, this isn't a scientific number, this is a Lee number, one million times more effective than getting it from an overpriced, processed, sugary, mixed with milk, horrible fucking shake, okay? That you're pouring down your top as you're walking off the gym floor because some dickhead bodybuilder has convinced you that you've only got this anabolic window, this fictitious anabolic window of um, uh, after training where you have to get the protein in, um, where the insulin fairies live as well, okay? So it's just not necessary, guys, okay? Eat your protein every four hours. It's as simple as that. So I would have, if I was training at three, um, I would have a high protein, fairly high carbohydrate, fairly low fat uh, meal, uh, 90 minutes before training. And I would have another meal around about 30 to 60 minutes after training. OK, I don't need a protein shake. They're expensive. They bloat you. And I certainly don't need one mixed with milk, which is just pure sugar. Key is in the name. Lactose, milk, sugar. People go, Lee, why don't you want drink? Why don't you drink milk? And I'm like, because I love carbs. And they're like, but what's that got to do with milk? And it's like, because there's 25 grams of carbs in a pint of milk, okay? Full fat milk, even higher on calories with the fat. You know, why would I want to get my carbs from fucking milk, okay? When I can get it from a nice baked potato with some Lurpak on or some waffles, because waffles are delicious, okay? I'd much rather eat waffles than have milk with my protein shake. Think about where you want to get your sources from, okay? So you don't need those protein shakes. By all means, have protein powder in your diet if you're struggling to eat enough food, but hand on heart, every single one of you will progress more through having no shakes and no supplements, no protein bars, and no protein shakes, and getting it from food, okay? Because also, then you will feel fuller for longer, you you fuel in your body with better quality nutrients, um, and you're not gonna get hungry. Because let's face it, you don't, you know, if you eat, you know, a full Sunday dinner, which is allowed in any diet, that's gonna keep you satisfied and full. You could get the same amount of calories, basically, in. Um, a pint of milk, two scoops of protein and some multidextrin. You know, one's going to make you feel like shit and bloat you and you'll be hungry again soon after. One's not, okay? So, yeah, unless you're really struggling, 
Um, don't have any supplements. You don't need a protein shake. You definitely don't need Herbal Life. You definitely don't need Juice Plus. You definitely don't need Weight Watchers, Slimming World, or any of the bullshit that they try and sell you, okay? You just don't need it. Eat proper fucking food. I should have done, I might call it that. I might call it a thing that eat proper fucking food. So, working out your amounts. So, this has to come down to your goals and your tastes, okay? So, I jumped in on a post the other day when someone was asking about, what's this keto diet about? Is that, will it, will it work for me? Is it amazing? Yeah, do you know what? Keto is a great diet. So is um, carb backloading. So is paleo. So is being a vegan. Um, so is 5-2. So is intermittent fasting. Um, and whatever other names people have created for random diets that you lose body fat by the same way, which is that you're in a calorie deficit, okay? So, one, keto is the hardest diet in the world to stick to, okay? Now I'll tell you why. Because proper keto, and I did, I did a massive um, assignment on this, by the way, okay? So I'm not just talking from a lot of experience. Ke ketosis in the body occurs when the body is completely depleted of all stored glycogen, which is carbohydrate, which is your main energy source, um, the body will then begin to oxidise fat as an energy source, not burning it off the body, like keto kings will lead you to believe. It begins to oxidise fat as an energy source. Now, in order for it to do that, your fats need to be at 70%. And it needs to be protein sparing, which means your protein needs to be at 20%, which leaves 10% for your carbohydrates. It will take you around seven days to get through this process, despite what the fucking keto pill sellers tell you, um, for your body to then begin oxidizing fats and producing ketones, which we use as energy, hence the phrase keto and the body being in ketosis. Now, number one, you're probably going to not need to drink or any alcohol or eat any carbohydrates for at least seven days to even get close to going into ketosis. So most of you are talking fucking shit, okay? You're saying, oh, I'm keto. You're not, mate. You're, you're high protein, um, few cheaty carbs when you want them and moderate fat, okay? Try and create a diet that's 70% fat. 20% protein, 10% carbs, because that's what keto is. And you need to do it for at least seven days and then be able to maintain it, okay? So will keto work for me? This is the point of this conversation. If you love cheese, mackerel, nuts, oily fish, avocado, eggs, olive oil, hemp oil, butter, yes, keto will be amazing for you because you love foods in high fat and it's a high fat diet. If, however, you love chips, baked potatoes, pasta, fruit, milk, cereal, sweet potato. It's the worst fucking idea in the world because you're not going to get to eat any of them ever, okay? If you like meat, it's the worst idea ever because you're going to get about 90 grams of protein per day max, okay? So this is the way you need to think of your macronutrients. Think about fitting your macronutrient amounts to the foods that you like, because when you are eating the foods that you like, you will love your diet and you will be able to stick to it and you will then get results, okay? End of conversation. So, some brief guidelines because I'm gonna go over here, okay? One gram of carb equals four calories, write that down. One gram of protein equals four calories, write that down. One gram of fat equals nine calories, write that down. Over double, okay? Again, this is why fats get a bad name. Carbs, aim for one gram per kg of body weight. Um, decide on the necessary surplus or deficit you need. Um, protein, aim for two grams per kg of body fat. And whatever is left, got that wrong, make it up from carbohydrates. So, one, so fats, one gram per kg of body weight. Protein, two grams per kg of body fat. Work out how many calories that is. Whatever calories you've got left, divide it by four, and that will give you a carbohydrate amount within the relevant surplus or deficit based on what you created using the macronutrient and calorie calculating point video that I did on Thursday. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Drop any questions below. If I sound like I'm talking Spanish, 
Um, simply drop me a comment saying, Lee, can you please send me a free copy of your book that explains every single section. Um, got sections on micronutrients, macronutrients, calculating a calorie starting point. Please don't ask me for a hard copy, that's the only one I've got. Um, it's online now and it will go through every single aspect of that. It goes through every single aspect of writing your own nutrition plan and writing your own training plan, okay? So energy balance cannot be debated or argued. Not now, not ever, okay? Start being honest, start tracking your food, work out your calorie, calorie starting point, work out your macronutrient points, pick foods that you like for your diet, don't listen to people trying to sell you shit you don't need and you will rule... 2021 victorious and get the body and the life you've already dreamt of whilst eating the food you love. Adios amigos!